In this video, I'm gonna show you how to display Tempo in the Media Explorer in Reaper. So a project in front of me here with some MIDI drums and an audio percussion loop. And it sounds like this right now. And if we go down over here, we can see the tempo is 93 beats per minute. But I want to import some other loops at their tempo into it and adjust our project to the tempo of those loops. So we'll go up here to the view menu and choose the Media Explorer, which is where I store all my loops and samples. I'm going to go into a folder I created called Musical Loops, and I have some loops right here, which sound like this. And like I said, I want to import them into Reaper, but keep the tempo as is. But if I drag them right now, I'll choose this one and drag it in and drop it right here. We could see it's out of time with the project. So what we can do instead is choose the loop and hit this button right here, which will stretch the loop to fit the tempo of the project. So if we drag it in now, now it's perfectly in time with the project. We can drag it out to loop it. And it fits perfectly with the tempo we had, which is 93 beats per minute. But if you remember, I want to do it the opposite way. I want to keep the tempo of the loop and stretch the MIDI and the audio of the current tracks in the project. So let's undo it again. Let's uncheck this, and this time, we're just gonna click the file. And notice right over here on the Beats PM, the metadata isn't stored. So you don't know the tempo of this loop. But if you're using a newer version of Reaper, starting in 6.69, you'll probably see a tempo of a loop right down here. It says maybe 105. So it's measuring the length of the loop and figuring out what tempo it should be. So in this case, it's probably 105 beats per minute. So we could do instead, just go down here and type in 105. And now with this unselected, we just drag it in and drop it. And it should be the tempo of the loop. Notice the rate of the loop hasn't changed. The other tracks adjusted to the loop. Let's drag it out and we'll hear how it sounds. Perfect. Our project adjusted to the tempo of the loop. Let's try it out with the others. We'll put it back to 93. And let's choose this one. And notice down here, it says maybe 85 beats per minute. So we'll change the project tempo to 85. And again, with this turned off, we can just drag it in and drop it. And it's perfectly in time with the project, as the project adjusted to the tempo of the loop. Let's try one more. Put it back to 93. Let's try this one instead. Again, you can see right here, it's maybe 100 beats per minute. So we'll change the project tempo to 100 and simply drag it in and drop it right here. And we can see it aligns perfect with the length of our project. And what's great about doing it this way is now we can adjust the tempo if we think it's too fast or slow. And everything in the project by default is gonna adjust. So let's change it to 95. And everything changes to that tempo. So by default, everything adjusts to the tempo we change. 
but it's more helpful to bring it in at the correct tempo, to import it at the tempo of the loop, as it'll adjust all the tracks to be the same. There's one other thing I want to show you. Let's undo it. Let's check out another loop right over here. Notice down here, it says maybe 60 beats per minute. Again, that's based on the length of the file, but it could be half or double. So let's change our project to be 60. And let's drag this in and drop it. Let's loop it for both sections and hear it. As you can tell, it's off, as the tempo is probably double that number. So let's undo it. And even though it says 60 beats per minute, sometimes it's off by double or half. So let's try 120. And now we'll drag it in and drop it. And we'll see it's still perfect. And let's hear what that sounds like. That seems to make more sense, as the tempo is being analyzed based on the length of the file. So it could be double or half the value that's shown. But that's pretty much it. That's how to display the tempo in the Media Explorer in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.